Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco here. I am very excited. Th yeah, this is me excited. I'm barely even raising my voice. So I made a video a few years ago showing my um, the experiments I did to get an Alex Van Halen kind of sound. I didn't try very hard, but even at the time I figured I would get back to it at some point and go, go at it for real and really dig in and actually try. But um, uh, somebody commented on that video a couple weeks ago that they were looking for a Alex Van Halen um, sample and offered to pay me. So <laughs> obviously I uh, said, hey, maybe I should get that project up and running. So um, pretty much nailed it. So I'm just going to keep this as short as possible. Um, I'm not going to get into how I did it. Um, if this video gets enough views, I'll make a video showing all that process, but this is just so I can show you what I got for now, and um, you guys can tell me uh, if you want this sample, what kind of format should I put it in, um, do you just want one shots, or do you want the raw files, or do you want just something that you can just stick in there and get the sound. Um, so I'm going to move to the computer now. All right, uh, it's a few days later. I tried to do this once and uh, I made a couple mistakes and how I had OBS set because I forgot I was doing something completely different than what I normally do. So uh, I'm back and doing this again. So I got this um, cover of One Foot Out the Door by Manny Nito. I was trying to find multi-tracks of Van Halen song. Obviously, the first place you go for high-quality multi-tracks is uh, produced like a pro. And unfortunately, this is the only Van Halen song that was up there that I could find. So it works. It is a Van Halen song. I've, I'd never even heard of it before. But um, anyway, so I have um, Manny Nito's mix of it right here. When I hit play, and you can see this soloed that's manny's mix and then um when i take the solo off and these light up you can see that that's my mix so i got this little section looped here the reason i have it looped here is because it's got that um those kind of uh displaced snare fills and i'll just start playing manny's um mix <laughs> Pretty cool huh so uh, I'm pretty happy with that uh, this is more of um, I've heard other good uh, versions of the Alex Van Halen snare sound even on YouTube I'll just I'll just put a link to the couple that I found but um this is more of an earlier or you know before 1984 because you know it seems like 1984 and onwards there's a bit more attack and a little bit more bite those other channels um those other guys did a good job of getting that sound but i wanted to go for the more classic david lee roth era of just more a little bit more muffle and that's the thing with um the alex van halen snare sound it's muffled but there's attack to it and it's getting those things right the balance between the muffle and the attack and the lack of interaction with the snare getting those three th aspects together is really the key to getting this sound right so uh like i said i'm not going to go too much into the actual how i did this but um the big thing i learned from um uh rick beato's channel is ton of uh, 800 hertz. I don't know why I turned it down a little bit there. It didn't need to.
that's really the key. Cause I'll, I'll take it down, take the 800 hertz back down to zero. And this is just on my, um, oh, I, I didn't mention. So I got, um, so I made uh, three or four, four TCI files. One of the close mic here, one of the worst mic, one for the overheads and one for the room. And I made individual um, TCIs for each one. And I'm using trigger two to trigger them and then I mixed them all together but this is just the um the close mic sound and like I said I turned down the 800 hertz to zero and I'll hear the difference <laughs> Yeah, if this video, I'll do more videos about this if this video takes off. And uh, so please, uh, for the algorithm, like, comment, and subscribe. So I could do, but this was just a demo. So yeah, thanks for watching.